Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very... Find that big sour bastard. Sure. <clears throat> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Your step. What am I? Invisible? Are you mad? You're fine. Look where you're going. There's something wrong with you. Hey, partner, you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure, I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's, he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. you so long oh good lord i was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet ah. <laughs> ask that first barman i met he told me charles was here folks still love a surprise not one of life's great mysteries it turns out <laughs> and you are a killer we both know what you got to do i'm leaving now he don't know the half of it john you're you're I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Ladies sure, and gentlemen, I'm a fan of the wolf. Round, Give me a bet round. on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Come on, Simon! 
Don't black out just yet. What is this? This is rigged or something. No! no. Knock his sideburns yeah. off. Don't hit him, Charles. Not so. What the hell? Oh. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. This way. Uh. My bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean... Arthur and me, we were together. I had to get out, but... He went back for the money. You... You know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> That pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me, Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. What's it? They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of them. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Huh. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight. Evidently! Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey -ya! Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. Slow it down! You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and knee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Vitelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? 
I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind me. Good man. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Hell, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <sighs> All right, girl. to pass through the eye of a camel, and no mistake. I am exploding with joy, and you can too.
sold me a serum made from rhino horn for a little problem I've been having. How is everything? It didn't work, so I took it to a pharmacist. Turns out it's just water, table salt, and flour. You gotta help me find the bastard. So, will you help me show this bastard a lesson? Appleseed's trying to bring in foreigners who work for half pay. How do you do that? It's a western. Oh, hello. May I help you? I think I might be able to help you. My name's John Marston. I heard about your work through an old friend of mine. Or you are a gentleman. <laughs> you don't know me very well yet. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Marston? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through a lack of trying on the... Had a bad run-in with some once. Some friends of mine saved me. Wolves ain't great fans of man. Don't blame them. Yeah. Neither do I. Shh, shh. There's one. I think we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. 
Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. It's sort of it. Them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when they're clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh, my. They don't seem to be fans of modern technology. They may be fans of you. Please don't. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Savage. Please. Do something, Mr. Marston. Help. This was a fool. Get the wolves from the door. Oh, futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self defense. <laughs> The only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. I'm just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia-phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. A much, much longer tube. And a cave to hide in, with bars on the outside. Be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. Don't worry about me. Come on, lady.
Jesus! Oh, God. Hey, mister. Come on in. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. 
Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. It's a view, all right. Easy. Come on.
be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. <laughs> Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. We'll be coming through here. Look at him. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Bring uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys, blow us. Let's get closer. Take the other. You gotta throw a knife? Just go for one, I'll get the other. That was clean. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. I got him.
some of this. Langton. Come on, it's time to collect. Okay, you're taking Finn. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Get him up there. Come on. Are you going to speak? I don't know. There's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead. His men. You ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is... I might be more cut out for this work than ranching, or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. Or fishing, or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. Whoa. Coming up on the jailhouse, let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Oh, what? Well, I'll be. Bring him 
and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the Undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him? Door must be open to all kinds of ugly today. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out. Kids in this country live in poverty. <laughs> Every place has its problems. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around. Hey, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I uh, think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Tell me that again. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. I'm hands on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. 
I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you, and men like me too, sadly. Hey! Oh! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Take your time. Mr. Devon, you okay? Yes. Help! We help me! Quick! Mr. Milton! Mr. Smith! Ah! Help! Over Mr. there! Devin! Help me! Kill him now! We took bigger parties than you are! Now we've walked into something! Get some cover! You mean! They drew us in! They're getting away with them! They climbed up in the trees! The Shoot the ones up there first! Put them down, get out! Your roads next your friends. They're our killers! You see him? High up! In the branches! Okay, let's move! He took him down the hill! Come find us if you can. These woods are ours! We've come the right way! Hey! They almost had me! They're covering the retreat! They're down the hill! Let's go! 
They're on top of us! Watch out! None of you need to be on For all that's old. Oh, I don't like the sound of that! Come on! They're in our way! Rip them apart! Shoot them where they stand! Let's keep moving! We gotta be gaining on them! I hope so! Where are they coming from? Not from the no! What the hell are they doing? Mr. Wayne, we're right here! Where is he? Mr. Wayne! We're coming! Make it no, quick! No, no, no! I'll get you all! We cleared him. Keep going. Where's Wayne? Let's search these trees. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Can you hear us? Mr. Wayne! Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner's. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles! You all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh-huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me! they do to him? Nothing nice. All right. Let's get out of here. Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Look out! Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Slow down, John. You're gonna kill us. Sadie said something, too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do that.
And I think that's everything. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get the... I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. <laughs> Into black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you and thought, here's some corn husk idiots and some country roof. Just wait right there for me. Say that again. Doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again. <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt this as is it him. is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna... Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, 
The painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking fella hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Tidy. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gangs. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some. And some Californians. And some regular Americans. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you! Did you make it out of straw bales? Slow it down! This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Oh. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. This place still gives me the creeps. Hitch your horse up here. Whoa. Oh, great. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. I'll give you a hundred. 
hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of... Find him. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. <sighs> One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Doing okay, girl. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take it. $200 from a sheriff, who might be crooked himself, to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a... Reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us.
Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Should have got out of here already. John, get down here. I'm coming. Okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. Get shot.
Ramon's still alive! <laughs> We might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. This Mexico's a tough place. It's not a joke, remember? You do the heavy lifting. You was gonna say. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I Let's mean to, Mrs. Here. Adler. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Court? Slave? You, you're a dead woman! And you are a dead man! The Belovos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh. Don't get too far ahead. Can we all go now? So you were saying. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you were just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big We got mistake. him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Stay by this post. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do, except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. 
John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. Take one, I'll take the other. Better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Don't leave me, John. Control to our left. Shh. Easy. Easy. Hold it. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they... Burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. Let him go. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go.
Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. Stay with him. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Okay, let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! All right, gents! The surprise is over! Okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got it. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Got him? Here come the rest of them. Quick! Ah. Of them. I'll cover you! Come on! Down that gully! Lock them! Lock them quick! Oh, damn! Stay On top of us! To the right! Man. Stay behind me! You got one in Oh, man! Stop on the edges! I got this! Get me out of here! Oh. 
Got him? Cause here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on! Down that gully. I don't feel right. On top of us! To the right! Anyone can't kill you. Look after Uncle! Oh, damn. Take the old man! Check the sides! Oh, I think we're clear. Come on, get him on your horse. Move it. Move it. <laughs> Between the trees! More of them! Get up there! We're taking you home. these woods. I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Does it look okay? Get back up! We need to get him home! You boys, don't mention it. I thought I was dead.
So you happy? I think so. <laughs> Say your goodbyes, John. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Yeah! Hey! It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back? With the boy? You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already. Oh, careful! Stop fooling around and ride proper. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. <laughs> we're cutting off the main track up here. A man's in need of post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. <laughs> up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. Good work today. This... Looks like a bear or something came through here. Hmm. Some fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? Both of them. Let's find him. Come on, they ain't here. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Easy! Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. through here. There's a cabin up here.
my god. Crap. Ugh, well, I ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Get back on your horse, John. You was gonna say something. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... <laughs> we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm a bone man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. We're the idiots shooting. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure, but I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch, and your kid, and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Get her! It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. Making me wait. How are you? See what happens. There ain't nothing I can't track. You're as good as found. We're fine, ain't we? You ain't scaring no one carrying that thing around.
How you getting on, son? Uh, fine. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading... Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite! I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's, he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now, reel. I got him. <laughs> What do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my... With Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up. 
dressed like they was from a kitty. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. See. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Is it all out? Don't swallow it! Dad! Rufus, no! Keep going! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. Tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful around here before you came back. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. Oh, you'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady said. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, no, John. There were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? 
There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever, there, to release the next one. It's a weighted system, you see. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. This is just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy. Poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. You've done this before. Lovely. Excellent. Oh, I like it. Wonderful. Very good. That might be the one. 
quite a pose. I think you've covered all the permutations. Is there a pose you were happy with? How's this? Perfect! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please, shh. It looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Of work. Really? Shh. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. Ah. <laughs> oh. We never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? If you're asking something, just ask it. Are you... Are 
will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> The Red Dragon dead, and Princess... I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Cleat, the big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Stop shooting. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right, Will. We owe this to Arthur.
Revenge. That might be something he could have understood. This ain't just revenge. It's about stopping the man. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Well, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? Our last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life, well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, wait, hey, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Okay, Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Okay. Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. There. Cleek! Oh, jeez! Hey, Cleek! Been a while. Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey, murder! I'll head him hey, off. stop! Hey, stop, stop, stop. I'll head him off. Can't escape us, Clee. Ain't no point in trying. Two. Leave me alone, damn it! Look at this! Oh, get him! She got him! Yeah. Hello, oh, Clay! Remember us? I'm going to see that gun down! <laughs> Joe, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Hey, 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 hey! Make him talk! Now, where's Micah? <laughs> Micah? I ain't seen him. Wait, wait, wait. You little... Where is he? No, 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 no. Come on. Lay into him. Oh, 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 oh. Where is he? That gentleman... Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored. Yes. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Oh, my neck. Here we go. Get him over here. I don't know nothing. Come on. No shit, no. Quit squirming. Your heels in. You need help with them? Move it. Ah, no, stop it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 
Keep There's moving. You heard the lady. Get up there. Listen. Move. I, I swear. No, 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 no. Come here, you bastard. Move it. Come on, move. Here, I want you stood right here. Still. Dog. All right, string the no good murder ambassador up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, no, 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 no. Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, Dude. or I'll pull this lever. Dude. Talk. No, 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 He's up in the mountains. I think it's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man, doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm, I'm one of the good guys. <sighs> Hang him. No, yeah, no. There ain't no need. Let him play for the family. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said hang him. Oh, as you wish. Oh, Jesus. Piece of shit. Move on. Come on. A little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah! Ready? This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp.
lose you too. Get behind there. Just you wait. Here's a break. Moving. Stay behind there, Dom. Son of a bitch. I got the high ground up here. A box of bullets, canteen, and some jerky. You can try by all means, but you ain't getting off this path. Just ask your friend back there. Boom. Guess you ain't here by no accident. You can hit him from here, can't you? Take the shot! You shot my friend, you shot! Hey, you're... Hey, you're okay. I will be. But go on. Go on now. Move fast. You're looking to nail and kill us all. Boom, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey. They know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. okay. Come on, John. Shit.
There's a camp here! It's not big enough. Knock a ride with 10, 20 guys! Keep smiling until we find that coward Carl's up there. Okay! So, Chris. Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. That was Joe! We gotta be close! Your fools are whoop!
Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of... Just showing up. Well, I got something to take care of.
Micah! Shit! Micah! These are the final moments, you son of a bitch. Hello, Scarface. I got more men coming, John! You should run away! I look forward to meeting them! You gotta be quick! Oh, try that again, won't you? I'll make you rich! Man. <laughs> Help. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. 
I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me. Won't solve nothing! Put down your gun, Marston! Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. He shot me. <laughs> You shot me pretty good. Thank you. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Jack, Uncle, come out here. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. 